Okay, so this is part two now of our video on the Jones and Chipman tool room grinder, the model 1300 EIU. So I've shut off the grinding wheel now, and uh, I do have most of the guarding removed from the machine. Uh, you can see all the pictures uh, on our website of the guards that go here. But at this point, if everything is, is right, you can swing past the tailstock. A lot of times you'd have to take the tailstock off. And we bring our ID grinding wheel in. The grinding wheel and the ID grinding wheel share the same motor. In other words, when the, if you had the belt on this ID spindle right now, which is behind this little cover, uh, while the external wheel is running, you would always have your internal grinding wheel running. So usually, uh, if you're going to be doing mainly external grinding, uh, they remove the, the belt and leave it inside the housing here and only put it on when you need it and vice versa. If you, for some reason, only use this machine as an internal grinder, you would probably want to take the belt going to the, the grinding wheel spindle, external grinding wheel spindle. So that's pretty much everything on the machine here. The work head is here. That's the on and that's the off. You have different speeds. You change the belts inside the housing here. And uh, also, there's an automatic lubrication system mounted on the side as well as a, uh, we can bring the camera around as well as a coolant system, original uh, Jones and Shipman coolant system. So there you have it, that's the Jones and Shipman. Uh, we do have lots of other machines to look at on our website, uh, not just this. So feel free to look. Uh, thank you very much.